All right, it's another week. It's another week. This is Donovan Sadiq. You guys have been now tuned in to Don't Believe the Hype on the Donovan Sadiq Show. And I am joined by long time missing in action, DK, still causing a lot of trouble around the neighborhood doing what she does best. So what's going on? Well, I'm glad you asked. And I sit up here dancing like it was some music on. I don't know why I just felt like dancing. No, I, I, I'll tell you guys why. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Jackson has finally gone home. Her yeah. batteries have been recharged. Yeah, uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. Okay, yes. you're ready to go. All right, let's yes. do it. Let's do it. So anyway, what had happened was, if you guys have been on social media, it's even in the news, the newspapers, um, you name it, it's everywhere. You've seen a melee, a melee being a fight that took place in a New York salon. I think the neighborhood was bed or something like that. Um, a couple days ago, it, the, the video was shot by Mercy Maduka. She was in a nail shop with um, some other black women, uh, owned the nail shop owned by Asians. It's called Red Apple Nail Salon. Now, the video shows a fight taking place. Now, there's, I would say, maybe 10 Asian women and, a, and an Asian man ganging up, beating up, violently beating up three black women. Now... The story goes that the um, was a grandmother and her granddaughter and her granddaughter's friend were in there getting their hands and their feet and their eyebrows done. Now, when it came to the eyebrows, um, one of the uh, technicians, the Asian technicians, messed up the lady's eyebrow. In fact, it sounds like she snatched it bald. And so <laughs> the sorry. lady was like, Don't mean to laugh. I'm not <laughs> I'm not paying for that. Now, we're not talking about. A $20, $25, $30. We're talking about a $5 eyebrow job. $5 for this eyebrow. So the lady, she paid for everything. Y'all said, I'm just not paying for you snatching my eyebrow bald. Okay, I think that's understandable. So for whatever reason, the Asians in the shop went bananas. It went ham. How dare you, nigga? We'll show the video. I think we'll, yes. we're able to show the video. Mm-hmm. They went bananas. When I say bananas, they took broomsticks and never, went, never, never, never. You see it beating these women, beating savage. See you next week. <laughs> you stupid. <laughs> Savagely beating these women, even spraying acetone on the grandmother who was trying to, as you see, trying to shield. I guess her granddaughter, mm-hmm. and, and the granddaughter is being held by the the um the guy that I guess in the shop. I don't know if he's the owner or whatever the case right. is. And so now there's this huge boycott taking place. And I should say that the woman that was hitting the lady going toward the door with the broomstick, she's been arrested along with the granddaughter, uh, Christina Thompson. Thomas. Wait a minute. Why, wait, wait, wait. Why is the woman being arrested? I mean, niggas getting well, beat all the time. See, that's that's the disparity in the, in the law. When an Asian does it, you, you want to, you know, it's a big deal. When a white guy does it, no problem. Well, the, I think all of the Asians in there should be arrested, but I think they got arrested before the video came out. Huh. You know, they took, basically took the, the words of the Asians that these Negroes. These Negroes are out of I don't, this grandmother is out of control. <laughs> she don't want to pay. She don't pay me. She don't know? pay. Nigga, nigga, nigga. And it's like, so when you see the video, it's like, well, how come all of them aren't in jail? I mean, is that, so let's say they didn't pay. It's, it's called selective enforcement, but go ahead. I get it. But let's just say they didn't pay. They were trying to stiff you for $5. Mm-hmm. Just to say that it's, was true and it's right. not. That's yeah. not what happened. What happened to calling the police? Hmm. You just take, you know, vigilante justice into your own hands, but, you know, as I was watching the video, a lot of people posting the video, I comment on every video. Mm-hmm. If another sister takes her ass back in there in any of those shops, she deserves to get her ass beat. Kung Fu Karate Chop. She deserves Kung Kung every broomstick, Kung every acetone in her face, <laughs> every drop kick, every every nail file in your eye. You deserve <laughs> all of that. I'm just saying, because like, how many times do we need to see this go on before you... Get it? Like, let me stop giving these people my money. And well, where can I go? I mean, you know, you know, because Long Queen, she does really good nails. I, I, well, you know hard. what? I would rather have no nails if it meant if, if it meant the difference between me going and giving people who obviously treat me as an animal and give them my money. I'd rather be filing my nails down to the nub until I. Girl, no, we can't do that, girl. No, well, no, I, I gotta mean, get my hair and nails done. But, but this is where I have some pushback too. All right. My pushback is this. So you keep taking yourself up into these shops 
and you keep getting beat, not just pushed, but assaulted. You're getting choked down near to death. You're getting somebody spraying acetone in your face. Then you want the rest of the black community to go take out time from their day to stand out there in front of these because shots. Because of your foolishness. Yes. Like, why keep putting people in that position? Just stay out of there. Those people would not have a presence in the neighborhood that they do if you were not going in there and giving them your money. It's, it's so like when you see somebody getting beat down, I'm talking about beat down. down. Not but just, you know. I'm talking about they were using the Kung Fu death grip on right. them and just giving it to them. And it's like. And using weapons with a deadly weapon. And then the lady, the grandmama, I think it was, said, we've been going here since my granddaughter was nine and the granddaughter's what, 21. But what does that mean? Well, to, obviously, to the Asians, they don't give a right. damn. Right, and so they've learned. Not only nigga, 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 nigga. I'm not gonna say all Asians, but the certain nigga, 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 nigga. They have learned from watching the rest of American society, mm-hmm. rest of American society being white society, um, how to treat black people. Do you the know? Black people are less than human. We treat them like do you, animals. They don't. They wait, rob wait, us five thousand. We beat them down. Right. Do Do you know that in part of your citizenship t- citizenship test to come here, you know, legally, legally. Uh, there's a uh, how to interact with black people test, and if you don't Are say you serious? if you don't say nigger right, you don't pass. You a lie, nigger, 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 nigger. No, no, you, you gotta lie. you gotta put more of an emphasis on you that. You almost had me, <laughs> almost had me, but then I was like, no, nah, this sounds like some real nigger, 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 nigger. That's the first thing they teach them. I mean, you never know. I, I I don't know, but I don't I don't doubt it. Now, now, and, I, and you know, and I know I'm joking when I say that, but I'm I'm gonna tell you, I went to survival school. And up in Fairchild, Washington, at Fairchild Air Force Base in Spokane, and one of the, uh, you know you're, you're supposed to be a prisoner of war. You go through this scenario, right? And um, I had a problem going through the training because in the training, being one of the only few black people going through this part of the training, uh, the, you know we're supposed to be in this imaginary country in Europe, mm-hmm. and the guy that captured me. They kept saying nigga and doing all that other stuff, right? And, of course, because my dad was an aviator, I basically kept my peace, put, checked it in my memory, got through the course. Now, you can't get upset right then and there because that's not going to do anything right. for you. So after the course was over, we had to do a critique. And I wrote in the critique, and I asked to see the superintendent of the school. And I told them, I said, you know what? Because he read my critique, and he says, well, you know, I said, look, in a real-world situation... If I was in Europe somewhere, they're not going to call me no damn nigga. Right, like, where do y'all get yeah. this from? I, 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 <laughs> I don't think this is yeah. in the course. So I said, whatever <laughs> this person is or these people that you have doing this course, their blatant racism is coming out because if you go to Europe, they're not going to hate me because I'm black. They're going to hate me if I got shot down in the country because I'm an American and not supposed to be there. If anything, they're going to say, black man, why yeah, are black you, man, why are you here? This is not your right. boy. So uh, there's a blatant problem in the training in the scenario. But no, I mean, and, and, and that wasn't an isolated incident. But, you know, I could have gone off and said, oh, no, you're going to be a nigga. No, that ain't the time and the place for it because I wanted to get through that shit. If they add some extra stuff. Yeah. And, you know, and, 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 and I was like, I highly. Wait, this is how you was looking through the manual? Like, yeah. I mean, no, no, really, I did. Is it? I, I did. I, I said. Am I missing some pages that I'm seeing? Yeah, that? yeah, because, you know, and, and my argument was. You know, here's an Italian American guy. I don't see them calling him a wop. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I don't see them calling this guy a bean turd. You know, whatever. It's like yeah. for some reason they're only calling me a nigga. I'm gonna say, okay, wait, we're, we're gonna break this uh, the yeah. skit right now. Um, I'm not for sure if that's in the yeah in, in the, the curriculum. Manual. <laughs> no, see, and, and 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 then they tried to justify it, saying because you know it is a mind game too. And what he said was, you know, you know, like, you know, they, they, they'll say that to get you out of your thing. But I didn't fall for it because my dad had told well, why me. Why do I have to have the extra special treatment? Right, me? exactly. <laughs> and, you know, and a lot of black people fall for that. Like, you can't call me no nigga. No, it, we're in training. And I'm not making excuses. What I'm saying is I went to the superintendent and I said, this is some bullshit. You know, I don't know. I said, because I don't see anybody else being called WAP, Jew, So did they fix whatever. it? I, I believe they did. That's, I, that I, believe is, they did. I mean, it's funny, but it's not funny yeah. because, like, wait, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Right. Well, where are you getting this from? Yeah, but, but you got to, you know, recognize yeah. where you're at because only in America are they going to treat you like that and call you like a nigga. And, like, this scenario that you're talking about, these, these, these people, they feel entitled to treat black people any way they want well, to. Well, yeah, because that's, that's how they've seen black people mm-hmm. being treated. In the, portrayed. We mm-hmm. treat them, we'll treat them like animals. We'll, you know, hit them because. 
they're not gonna do nothing to right, us. Right, right. We see them get shot down mm-hmm. in the street all they the time. They ain't gonna do nothing. They we ain't see gonna bust black people, grip. you know, getting treated less than anyway. Right. So we'll like in your mind, like I can't even mm-hmm. imagine whatever business I might have. Or look, look, they let us shut up a shop right in their neighborhood. They don't care. Right, exactly. And guess what? Mm-hmm. They'll keep coming back. Like the grandmama mm-hmm. said, Well, my granddaughter, she's mm-hmm. twenty one, been coming here since she was nine. And so it's like, okay, so why are you putting fuel on the fire, making it sound worse? Like it doesn't sound like that was the first time those women in the shop right. have behaved like that with the black women in the community. So you guys continue. What is your point? Right. You what is it? Eleven years. You've been going to the shop to mm. eleven years, giving these people your money and your money, and this is how they treat you. This is your um, frequent flyer. <laughs> <laughs> your customer rewards program, <laughs> right? We are gonna give you, you know, two. You want one lump or two? <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> one yes. dash of acetone or two? Yeah, ching chow, ching chow, special. Give her special. Please, I just. I, well, at first when I watched it, and I, I mean, it's, it's, it makes you mad, but I wasn't really mad. I was just like, oh well, yeah. they keep going in there. Yeah. They like it. I love it. I mean, I don't. I personally wouldn't keep going in there. Yeah, oh, you know. Okay. And uh, let me make a disclaimer. I know I'm, I'm making uh, fun and stuff like that. That's him. That ain't yeah. me. Um, everybody knows I was raised in uh, Okinawa, so I have a lot of Asian friends. I'm just uh, emphasizing some fun here. So, uh, well, I mean, and I'm a lifelong karate uh, person. Yeah, he's got so, twenty black belts. So, so I, I live the life of Asian. But the stereotype of what is going on, it's and I'm not trying to circle out any particular Asian group, but unfortunately, a lot of nail shops, especially here in Southern California, are owned by Vietnamese. They're very entrepreneurial, uh-huh. and uh, they some of them do have a bad reputation. And you know what? I will say that. this: there are some. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many, but um, Asian shops or stores in the community that do treat the people right, really, really good. Yeah. So I know of a, um, a hair shop or hair beauty supply. Mm-hmm. Um, and he has nothing but black people working in there because mm-hmm. he realizes I'm smack dab in the middle, middle of the neighborhood where uh, probably 99% of the patrons are black. So I might as well get you know, some. Right. And he's very nice. And mm-hmm. so I don't, I don't have a problem with him because right. that, that's how you're supposed that's to do it. Good. But this particular shop, uh, Red Apple Nail Salon, mm-hmm. they also have a grocery store that came under fire. Um, ah, there's light. That came under fire in 1990 for doing the same thing. They jumped on a, a Haitian woman mm-hmm. in one of their grocery stores, and then in 1991, it shut down because the people protested, like, "No, you guys are out of mm-hmm. here." And so we figure it was that 91, mm-hmm. what 24 years, mm-hmm. 20 yeah. roughly, I don't know. Um, so 24 oh, years yeah. ago, 24 years ago, the same nail shop or the same family Turn your volume down. Oh, that, that's uh, the yeah, turning your volume down. The, uh, the mm-hmm. same family of um, business, they're still doing the same thing to black people. Mm-hmm. And so it's like, and then they have another, I guess they have other nail shops and stuff too, sure. not too far from each other. But the point that I'm making is that's just their ideology when it comes to black people. We don't have to treat them right. We know they'll come give us our money, but we don't have to treat them right. Hell, we'll beat them down. Beat them down. And here's another example that you've, you've once again shown. Um, uh, how this thing is happening. You know, this ain't something you're making up. This isn't something that's a theory. This is actually happening. So let's take a look at the video. You guys take a look. Keep your jaw off of the ground because it actually happened. And just take a look at the video right now. And there we go. So again, why continue going into those establishments and giving them your I don't I, I, I kind of was baffling I, to me. I, I kind of like the way the lady took a swing with that broom and she kind of <laughs> really? wound up and was kind of really rolling. I mean, good technique. But then in the video, you hear the, the girl saying, that's my grandma. Right. That's my grandma. Right. But it's like, why are you and your grandmama in there? Mm-hmm. I mean, because it's like someone else said, I saw an interview where they that, that that's just how they get down with black women in there. So it's like, that. if we know that living in California and everywhere else or all over the world, you guys in the neighborhood, how come y'all don't know that? Why do you right. continuously go in there and give those people your money? It's just more convenient. They're right around the corner and they do such good nails. I get it, but you know what? Go on YouTube and figure out how to do your own nails. You get, I mean, I don't know. I haven't gotten my nails done in years, but I see some of these nail jobs and it's like you you have to be spending fifty to sixty dollars mm-hmm. per time. That's a lot of money. That's what on I'm saying. Nails. You know, this is what I don't understand, especially when it comes to our women. Twelve billion dollar hair industry. We are basically X out of that. Um, the nail shop industry, we're basically X'd out of that. 
Yeah, we got some black beauticians and stuff like that, but the, the money's in the supplying. That's where the big money. Is. Well, and it, another, I read a comment online yesterday, and a black nail technician, mm. she made a good point, and I and I agree with her. Is that she says, and, and to your point too, you guys want to go to the Asian shops because yeah, they can charge five dollars mm-hmm. to get your eyebrows done. Mm-hmm. But when you come to us, yeah, we're going to charge a little bit more. But mm-hmm. she says, but look at what you're paying for. Mm-hmm. Somebody probably snatching your eyebrow off and they're not going to do a good job. And so mm-hmm. you guys are going for the cheap instead of coming. There's going to something that's going to cost a little quality. bit more quality, quality. And then with your own people. Absolutely. Stay out of those. Net, that, that's why they're able to do a $5 mm-hmm. um, eyebrow right. job. Because they know it's going to be 20 more Negroes. Mm-hmm. Coming in there and getting their eyebrows done. So that ain't that. We'll get an and, eyebrow. And, That's giving it away pretty and, much. And, 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 and you know that back down east because, you know, you go into the club every Friday anyway with your, uh, you know, Section 8 check or whatever you You know doing. what? Well, you know, you know what I'm talking about. You know, you're living in Section 8 and you want to look ghetto fabulous. So you're going to go there. I mean, you know what I, I mean? My thing is just do your own nails at home or, or go to one of these black nail mm-hmm. shops or hair, whatever the case is, and get that done. But, yeah, I, I, like I said, I'd rather have nubs. Mm-hmm. And then they go give somebody who could potentially brutalize me with a broomstick and acetone. Mm-hmm. But I, there's just no, I, but, I, like, just the, how dead now, do you gotta be? Now, now, I know you, you would do this, but think about it. How many of us will actually go the extra yard to find a black business to do that particular thing or something that we really want? Now, done? You know what? It's sometimes you gotta go the extra yard. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I understand it's around the corner. I personally do my own nails. I've not yeah, paid, the nubs, yeah, <laughs> the nubs. Okay, <laughs> but I personally haven't paid anybody to do my nails. I just mm-hmm. it's something I know how to do, mm-hmm. so I, I learn how to do it. But I mean, if you really want your nails done. Go on Yelp or whatever. Then right. black owned nail salons right. or whatever the case is and do that. And keep our money in our community. But you're essentially paying to get your ass beat. <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying, like, why would you pay for that? Right, right. Um uh now now do you you've known me for over thirty years, you know I'm I'm very eclectic. Um some people say I'm cheap, but it isn't really I'm cheap. No, I, mean, yeah, I don't think you're cheap. No, you're uh, I, yeah, well I'm smart with your money. Yeah, I'm very smart with my money. So um like I said, um you know, I want quality. I will get quality. So that's what I've been doing around the house. And uh, when it's time to splurge, do I not splurge when yeah, it's time? Yeah, I mean, you do and I do, you. And I do what I got to do. I mean, I'm not r- driving a Mercedes. But but my point is, though, uh, sometimes instead of doing the cheap, you're actually paying more money. In the long run. In the long run. Oh, yeah, because absolutely. think of how many times you're going back. Whereas if you got a nice, quality, hard seal on your nail... You're not going to be back there for two and a half weeks. But my thing is, too, and, you know, I'm not trying to get anybody's finances or their Mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. You know, let's say you are paying $50 to $60 a time every two weeks or Mm -hmm. however. That's $100 to $120 a month that I'm sure you can't afford. Mm -hmm. You know, most people, especially in the urban areas, they can't really afford. I mean, they set aside the money from somewhere. But what else could you be doing with $100 to $120 other than getting some nails done for somebody to say, oh, your nails are nice. Well, it, it, it's like your dad always says, or he told you, you're going to beg for what you... Beg, buy what you want and beg for what you need. need. So it's like, mm-hmm. you, you, do you really have $100, $120 to give people mm-hmm. for some nails? That's... Mm-hmm. I, I, I'm baffled. Like, when I saw the video, I seriously was like, oh, well, they they keep going there... Getting their nails done by those people who don't like them, right. they deserve to get the ass beat. Every every broomstick, every wop on top of your head, you right. you need to get. And you know, and the funny thing is, they probably charge the black people with the crime. Yeah, if originally they did, mm-hmm. and then um, once I guess the the video came out, it's like, mm-hmm. oh, oh. I mean, to me, I didn't see the black people being the aggressor, right? But if I said I don't want to pay, as, as my right, never, never, never. Out. I know, again, I've seen a lot of arguments, too, of saying, well, black women are notorious for going in somewhere saying they don't want to pay for something. Brown. She's going to well, throw that cell phone in your head. I don't know if that's necessarily a black woman thing, but mm-hmm. I think I've been in the service industry. I'm in the service industry, mm-hmm. not the service yeah, industry. Yeah, service industry. Yeah. But if I render you a service and you don't like the service I rendered you, mm-hmm. now I'm not saying no stupid stuff. Yeah. I'm saying, like, legitimately, it is your right to refuse to pay. Mm-hmm. Now... If you don't like my decision, then you call the police or you take me. They'll say it's a civil right. matter. Mm-hmm. Take them to court. Mm-hmm. Do that, but you don't have the right to, to assault brutalize mm-hmm. nobody. That's not like where do you, where do you get off? We'll just take that. Mm, 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 mm. Give us some more. Give us some. Beat me some more. Please. Yeah, they're gonna be up in there next week talking mm-hmm. about okay. Yeah, um, this and, time don't snatch my eyebrow and, off. And, and and what kills me is after seeing this video and the people that live in that area, 
they're still going to be even though you weren't the one that got beat, you're still going to be in that shot. Talk about. Well, they closed it down. Right. They, they, they had uh, two days in a row. They've um, not been able to open up. Wow. They, they, the first day that they tried to open back up, well, the police had to escort them out in the van. Well, well um, you mean the workers? The workers. Yeah. yeah. Um, well, I'm going to tell you this. Stay on top of that story. I, I guarantee you, once the, the the hoopla dies down, Negroes will be back in People are pretty mad about it. There, there's a lot of people but, showed up, they, and they said today I didn't see it, but uh, but I know our people. Protests. I know our people. I'm I'm, I, 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 I'm going to bet money. That's I, gonna be... I I hope you're wrong. I okay. really do because at this at some point in time, we just have to get it. Mm. We just have to decide that there's nothing they have to offer that's worth us being dehumanized any more than we already are. And then we're going to pay for the dehumanization? Mm -hmm. How does that that work? Oh, because, you know, slavery was a long time ago. Martin Luther King freed us. Girl, you know, you got to give it the time. It ain't like that okay, no well, more. Okay, go on and keep getting your ass beat. Trump, is, Trump has done more for black go people. Go keep than... it going and get your ass beat and stop posting videos talking about, oh, well, this is, make this go viral. For what? <laughs> Why are we making this go viral? You want black people to go out there and defend you, but you don't have a sense God gave a cricket to mm-hmm. stay out of those shops. Why do we need to keep going? Like, we got other fires we need to be putting right. out other than your dumb, and I, ooh, I said I was going to stop cussing. Mm-hmm. Today I will. Yeah, I started, started other that. than your dumb ass mm-hmm. keep rolling up into these these salons and these shops hair, all this, and all this where you gonna get choked and beat mm-hmm. like we'll stop telling us we don't care no more that's where I'm at with yeah. it yeah. I'm at we don't care yeah I'm, I've seen enough videos you to want where... everybody to put on the cake oh gosh sister so and so got choked out <laughs> but I've been going up in there for yeah. years my time. granddaughter my, my niece has been up in there and we're gonna probably go up in there the minute you break a nail right Right, exactly. I'm just going in for a second. I'm going to a wedding. Oh, okay, you go. All right. Yeah. Well, when you get I gotta choked, get my tools. When you together. get choked out again, don't yeah. don't post a video. Don't talk about come help me. Yes, yes, that's a good point. But you know, there there it is once again. D is uh, D K is on it once again, showing you this is what's happening. I have another scenario that I okay. wanted to talk about. Go ahead. You probably I don't think you've seen it. But I posted it on uh, my page about a week ago. Okay, for a week I've been working on my house. But go ahead. Okay, so what happened was there was this text and went viral for mm-hmm. some reason of this guy. It was a text conversation between him and his girlfriend at okay. the time. Now she has three kids by two different dudes. Well, I, 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 did, I did see it. I did see it. All yes. right, so you know what I'm talking about. Yes. So there's three kids by two. And you did that on dudes. your show. I, yeah, I talked about it on your the show. show as well, but I, I kind of want to talk about it a little bit more. Right. Go to Demetra K on Facebook, and you can see last week's show where she's talking about that. Mm-hmm. And it's really, it's really good. So anyway, okay, so she has three kids by two dudes and her boyfriend. Um, she asked her boyfriend, could she have $20 so the kids can go on a field trip? Mm-hmm. And so uh, then this is the text conversation that he put out for whatever reason. I don't know. And he tells her no. And I'm paraphrasing because you got two baby daddies in between the both. Uh, the three of y'all, y'all should be mm-hmm. able to come for $20 right. and this, that, and the other. Mm-hmm. And, you know, so she got mad about it. And Why is she get mad? Well, I guess she figured now I'm just asking you you know you got to go through all of that and she said that she asked the baby daddies and they didn't have it whatever you know was. what well let me finish because I knew go, go, go. So I brought it up because I knew you was going to have no, a well, no I was saying you know what happened to the women that would break the man off and he'll give well, you the well I mean I'm sure she was giving him saying the dude ain't there for free you think he hanging around she got three kids obviously it must not be that good well <laughs> go ahead Anyway, <laughs> so anyway, he kind of roasted her a little bit, right. you know, um, saying I'm not doing it and, uh, mm-hmm. you know, all this other stuff. And so I posted it and I just simply said, wow, she needs to raise her self-esteem and get some knowledge herself because if she did, she wouldn't be messing with dudes, including her baby daddies, who are sound like a little bit lackluster because... As a, as a woman, I'm speaking from a woman's mm. point of view, why would you be with somebody? Because obviously the dude knew she had three kids right, and right. two baby daddies. Mm-hmm. Why would you be with somebody who will run you low over $20? And you know, on my post, all the women that came on there agreed with what he did to her. Wow. If you want to call it what he did to her. Um, a lot of men agreed, but um, some men was like, man, give her the 20 bucks. Yeah. You, you know, you she's a, that's a package deal. You with this woman, give her the $20. Mm-hmm. You know, but I was blown away. I was blown away by the fact that, you know, she had to mm-hmm. pretty much haggle with okay. this dude. She had mm-hmm. to haggle with the dude over to, you know, in mm-hmm. order to get the money. So, right. 
But but like I said, I was shocked too that a lot of women were like, well, no, he don't. That's not his job, and you know, the baby daddy should give it to him or give it to her, and you yeah, know, yeah, he he should contribute. Like I said, it's. And it's, but a lot of brothers ain't got the twenty dollars. Okay, but why? <laughs> but he could have just said that too. But even right. then, then the, the humanizer, or not mm-hmm. the humanizer, but the greater put it on Facebook, run or low. It's like that. Well, to me, that didn't speak. Uh, it didn't speak that badly of her. Spoke badly of him because mm-hmm. this is a woman you're with. You knew her situation. Now you want to take it to the next level and try to embarrass right. her. Right. So, so what's your question? Do, do you think that people agree with her? Or do, I, I, do, do you think he was right in denying her? No. And to me, it's I only think twenty dollars. Yeah, but to me, it wasn't even the money. It was like this lady's asking you for help, and mm-hmm. you're like, no, no. But look, I need some ass. I'm sure, I'm, I'm, I'm sure she was. He was. Getting, yeah, he was getting that. But, but you know, you know what I'm saying. But, that, but that, that's how you know we do. You know, you don't want to help her out, but yet when you want, and that that was the point that I was making. If some dude wants to argue with me, mm. or are you saying that she we should equate that with this and money for that? And I was like, that's not what I said. I'm saying that if you, if a man is with a woman and he knows she needs help, why right, not you're just with help her? her? Right. What are you doing with her? Right. Like my dad said, a, man, a woman don't need a man to help her do nothing. I mean, with you there just mm-hmm. taking up air, space, and opportunity. Exactly. I mean, exactly. But uh, real quick, uh, I want to introduce everybody to my uh, nephew. This is handsome AJ. Hey. <laughs> He's got lint in his hair. He's on camera now. So um, he just came back from Biloxi, Mississippi, visiting with his dad. His dad is in the United States Air Force, as well as his mother. Uh, how was your trip? It was really hard to not have all that fun and go to camp. Mm-hmm. Camp was a little boring. A little boring. <laughs> right. Uh, you guys know he's talking with the slur because he recently got braces. Now a lot of women don't don't realize this. When you when you when you when you get with the man, you got to look at his teeth. Because in our <laughs> family, no 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 seriously, I'm not saying like you know you guys know what I'm talking about like the I'm going, I'm of the teeth. And I'm not trying to be like be, be negative or like that, but I'm just trying to give you guys some hip, hip you to some game. Now, uh, the my family we have big teeth, okay, and his mother has small teeth. Thus, the child has mother's jaw, father's teeth, which means spacings and things like. I'm not saying you know you can't plan all this stuff out, but that's one of the, the situations that got him to where he got his braces. And you know, you guys know when you're at the club. If a guy's got a grill on, you might want to ch- tell him to take his grill out, and you might not like what you see under that grill. But anyway, uh, he's got his top uh, ones. We're going to get his bottom ones next month? We're getting the bottom ones uh, next month? No, September. 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 That's next month. No. That's August. Next. Yeah, that's next month. <laughs> like, oh, or oh, yeah, that's right. So what school do you go to again? Sunny Meadows. Sunny Meadows, right down the street. And as you guys know, he has a unibrow. Oh, see. Oh, my so, gosh. Which is really good. So, um... Before we go, uh, I'm going to have you model. Now, hold this up there and just hold it right there. I want to talk about this real quick, D. This is called Baskets by Leanne. And I ran across this young lady while at March Air Reserve Base when I was burglarizing his house, borrowing money oh. out of his uh, top oh drawer. My it's, a, it's, a, it's a creative gift basket for all reasons and all seasons. And she makes these things by hand. You guys can uh, contact her at 951-591-9054. Or baskets by Leanne L E A N N E no no I'm sorry baskets by Leanne L E A N N at yahoo.com y'all be trying to get all these your magical names and stuff like that but we're we're gonna put that up as well so you guys can do that but uh, this one here is, it was a really interesting basket and they're really mixed but the most expensive basket she that I saw there was like fifty bucks. And, you know, there's a lot of birthdays coming up, something that's inexpensive. This is a uh, bed and bath type uh, basket. It has little candies there, soaps and uh, lotions and oils and all that other stuff. And I thought this would be really great to highlight. And I want to just go ahead and give this to my good uh, friend here. Oh, okay. You know, something for you to, to deal with. Nice, you know, thank so you. you can relax. I know, you know, Mr. Now I can take a bath. Yeah, I know Mr. <laughs> Jackson was here, and you might want to, you know, relax, yeah, and get yeah, back yeah. into shape. He's there. back. Yeah. He's coming back. What, what, in October? October. October. <laughs> and so here's the second one, which is something more I thought was really, really cool. This is your uh, tea. <laughs> he's, he's doing good. I'm going to get him on the prices right. Uh, this is your tea basket, oh, and it has all the teas there with the, what's that, the the, the biscuit, the yeah. brisket, and it has a little teapot in it, and I, I, uh, I think this one went for like $35, something like that, $40.
well worth it. You put your order in, she'll get them out to you. I mean, it's a really nice business, black owned business. Nice. So I thought that was very, very important. And, and I, these are very good if you want to eat them. Yeah, they're, they're very good. He would know. He likes that kind of stuff. So um, I just wanted to bring that to you guys' attention. And we're going to put this also up on, on, the, on the back as a uh, uh, promotion so you guys can see in the case he kind of messed it up. I but uh, you, did I a you did a fabulous job. job. Uh, thank you very much. Now go sit down and get lost. <laughs> You but, just lost subscribers. There you go. Lost a subscriber. Yeah, Nahum. Yeah, he ran off the best. Yeah, the best thing. Yeah, handsome age. Yeah, he's bringing in the, the young, the young demographic. <laughs> so, uh, but that, that's uh, handsome AJ, my, my nephew. Um, it's one hundred. It's gonna be. They, they predict it's gonna be one hundred and six degrees today in again Moreno Valley, if not more. And um, I'm gonna tell everybody, please stay hydrated and stay under wraps because it is a heat advisory. And if you don't, if you're not into it, um, young coconut juice with pulp. This is basically coconut water. It, um, water's not going to be enough. You're going to need to put electrolytes yeah, back in your system. Yeah. So you got to hydrate your system. I don't care if you get some Gatorade, but this is a natural way to do it. You get your little stuff in there, and it'll hydrate you and get you, you know, get your salts back into your oh, body yeah. and things that you need like that. So please, 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 if you have animals, please. Give them enough water. Give them some shade. I've seen animals out there that are just baking in the sun, and it's it's unbelievable. Uh, while I was out working on my on the house, guess who was inside enjoying all the AC? Your animals chilling, <laughs> chilling. <laughs> okay, so um, I mean, no, but the heat out here is very crucial. People got to realize we are at the beginning of the Mojave Desert. So yeah, it's very hot. It's very hot. Very so. hot. So, but uh, speaking of which, tell us about your trip uh, with uh, Mr. Wonderful there. Where'd you guys go? Um, we didn't go anywhere, actually. We just went to Magic Mountain. Yeah. I, I Magic mean, how was Mountain, that? it was hot. He lost his wallet. Lost his wallet, <laughs> but by the time he got back home, all that stuff was there. Was so. There? Okay, well, they mailed it to him. Yeah, that's what happens when you have a good woman. Wait, wait, you know wait, wait. They mailed it to him? All that stuff. But all his money was there? No, the wallet wasn't there. Okay. But okay. When, we, when, we, when he was here, we went and got all yeah. the stuff that he lost, lost. you okay, know, good, good, for the good. most part. Good. But yeah, having a good woman on your team would do that, you know, because... Because your man ain't got no patience. You're not. Al, I love Al. it. Al, you know, we're, 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 we're brother-in-laws. <laughs> we're, we are brother-in-laws. You got one sister. I got the other. Now, here's the thing. You got to have some patience, brother. He's working on it. But working God, on it. Lee, yeah. I was like, when he lost that his wallet, when he found out that the wallet uh, flew mm-hmm. out of his pocket, mm-hmm. right he got to right, he's like, oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> I thought he was going to lose. I was like, okay, wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Calm, right, calm, right, calm, right. calm down. Mm-hmm. I said, it's okay. Mm-hmm. We're going to replace all that. I promise right. you. Right. You know, the funny, thing about, uh, yeah, the, 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 the funny thing about you guys is you guys have like, have like, to me, when I look at you guys, you guys have like a yin and yang relationship. We do. We, it's, it's totally every, like, I could be high strong sometimes, yeah. but not most. Right. If something happens to me, mm-hmm. I can. Like, something really happens, mm-hmm. but for most of I'm pretty cool. But him, he just... Gone. Just for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like... All right, all right. All right. Right, and then we will talk it through mm-hmm. like this. Come on, ain't that serious? You right, you right, you right, right, right. Exactly. I'm like, well, and, and my daughter's like, well, what did he do before he met you? I said he was living life by the seat of his pants. <laughs> <laughs> He's, he was uh, in the streets, take, kicking ass and taking it. He's like, but you know, like I said, that's what a good woman to do. Mm-hmm. Like my Absolutely. dad always says, uh, not to say I'm all that, yeah. but a woman, a good woman, is supposed to bring balance to balance man. to the force. Yeah, that's right. you know. Um, I guess that yin and yang. Mm-hmm. You know, if you where you see a person is yeah, I don't, one we, yeah, yeah one, you guys compliment each other very yeah, well. Yeah, that's what you're supposed to do. But yeah, he lost his wallet and wasn't so bad after I talked to him. I said, he wasn't yeah, gonna beat up anybody up there. It was <laughs> no, he was. But he, I'm like, well, damn, he was. I, I I I saw it coming. I saw the Tasmanian devil about to happen right there. Oh, man. But you know, I calmed him down in a couple of seconds and I said, you know, it could have been worse. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You know, you could have lost your head, you could have lost true, your arm. True. You could have fell off. Your phone could have been on yep. there and then and then so once I started telling that said, yeah. you know you you right. I said all the stuff was replaceable. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's replaceable. Yeah you had hundred and twenty dollars in there. You know what? Somebody got that money who probably needed it. I said I'm just trying to get you yeah. to see the there's other more, side. Yeah, there's of more it. to it than and so, and that, uh, but when we went to uh, after, because you have to wait to the park close, mm-hmm. so they do a sweep and see if they found your stuff. Um, as we're standing in line, some people lost their keys, wow. some people lost their phone and yeah. their money and their keys mm-hmm. and their right and child. So, and so, <laughs> okay, and so I, I told him, I said, "See, there, but for the grace of God, there go I." Which means mm-hmm. 
that could have been you. Mm-hmm. At least we got our keys. At mm-hmm. least our phone. I mean, people were getting there, retrieving their phones. And it's like, Dad, you might as well just went home because the phone was just smashed. Smash. Can you imagine mm-hmm. your phone dropping right. off? Of that? So, and these aren't no cheap phones. They're about $800 phones. Now. I mean, these, I'm talking about these people are going to get iPhones. Yeah. And people are like, okay, on their iWatch. Mm-hmm. I can see that it's still down there because uh-huh. the thing is telling right. me. <laughs> They wanted these phones. Right, right. But when they bought them, it was like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. you know, and, and you know, I know you want to have fun and stuff, but you know, you got to think things through. You're going to an amusement park, secure your stuff, get some. Well, cargo you know, pants. the crazy is just the fluke. He had them in the cargo pants, yeah, and it, it was slipped out. Just the, we didn't anticipate this ride. Right. It was so. It was called the X two. So stupid. Uh-huh. You go backwards uh-huh. on the damn ride, and then it's flipping you and right. it's turning you, mm-hmm. and it's going like I think it said it's eighty miles an hour. Mm-hmm. So it it was just the fluke that it just happened because my wallet was in his other um other right. pocket mm-hmm. and it didn't fall out. Mm-hmm. So it's just one of those things. You better did did, did did do like mom used to do. Pick, take that wallet, put it right up in here. Okay, in that little pocket right there, it's secure. Right? No, yeah. that would have came out. Okay, because okay. I ain't got much down there. It would have been like, <laughs> who you think you was fooling? So how many rides did you go on? Because everybody knows D is not a roller coaster. You know what's person. funny? I said he didn't know it but I said to myself I'm going to face my fears okay. and I'm getting on these rides and you went and I went on uh, um all the rides except for maybe three with him I mean can you think about it the rides are only what a couple minutes seconds some seconds, of them right. like Superman exactly. ride was 20 seconds, 20 seconds and that was the one I hated the most right. but I was like you know what just do this shit just do it, just do right. it. Get, get and it's funny because when it took off mm-hmm. and then it hit that curve yeah. and it was going to the top and it was hanging up for just a second yeah. I said to myself, ah! no, I said, you got this bitch. You got yeah. it. You got it. <laughs> and they went and dropped. Right. I was like, okay, it wasn't so bad. But no, nah, I, I was like, I have to face my fears. I'm going right. to do the roller coasters. Because mm-hmm. I read this book called The, uh, the Community of Self by Naeem mm-hmm. Akbar. Okay. And it talks about, you know, just different aspects of ourself. And um, he talked about fear and um, or reason, rather. Mm-hmm. Reason how reason if reason takes over all the other things of your body and your mind, it won't allow you to have fun. It exactly. won't it'll talk you out of everything. Mm-hmm. And so I said, I've been getting on roller coasters. Now, don't get me wrong. I mean, we yeah. should some common sense. But I've been getting on roller coasters, you know, for my adult life with a reason. Like, uh uh-uh, mm-hmm. I don't know who was putting this ride together mm-hmm. that the person right. was drunk who did the test on this. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. But the other side of it was like, get on there. If it was your time to right. go, it was your right. time to Statistically, go. Statistically, you know, you got you to gotta play the odds. And it know? wasn't that bad. Wasn't that bad? So you guys had a really good time. I had a time. good time, except for it was hot as hell. Yeah, it's hot as hell. Because yeah. I, I know it's when Al comes out, he likes. He's a roller coaster guy. Yeah, hopefully he don't want to come out and ride no roller coasters again. Well, he's not very fun. We gotta hit that a couple more. Maybe, yeah. maybe. I like to do something like at Universal Studios, right? Or yeah, that's, we can walk that's around. Yeah, 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 that's our speed. Like SeaWorld, we just walk around and yeah, yeah, they, yeah. okay. <laughs> hey, Shamu, bye. Yeah, yeah, here for the kids. You just kind of rock and have fun. You say, hey, it's all good. Mm-hmm. But uh, you know, that's one of the things about living in Southern California. For those that are watching, for wherever you're watching. Um, you got to have a car here. If you don't have a car, everything's within a two-hour radius. You can just do it all. I mean, sea right. world, whatever, whatever. It's it, it's all here. You you imagine it, it, it can be done. So, and by the time you get done doing the first thing, right, it's about six months later. Right. Okay. Because you know you got to have the money and all that stuff like that. So. Um, and then I was shit parking was I think twenty five dollars. It's twenty five dollars. Yeah. And then if you want to go VIP, it's forty or see, a valet. See, that's when you get your friends together and you guys get like a. Uh, you know, bus or not like yeah. a bus, but you know, like a van or something. Y'all go in the SUV where you get as many people as you can. But my thing is, okay, I'm already paying the king's ransom to get in here. And if I want to buy a drink, that's going to be $10. Yeah. And so bottle of like, water is $6, yeah. right? It's a little bottle. Yeah, so I'm not to pay for parking too. Well, it's like Disneyland. It's $100 to get in, $25 to park. So before you even enter the park, you've already paid $125. For a mouse to see a, a funky little ride. And you're mouse. probably going to get on three or four rides on average. And that, that's and that's what we did. We got on a lot of rides because um, you know you're paying mm-hmm. for it. And right. He got the flash pass too because mm-hmm. he doesn't like the wait, which you know came in handy. Yeah, we know. <laughs> right, right. So, so that's good. I'm mean, glad he had a good time. Showed him a good time, mm-hmm. and like that. And you guys just went to dinner and talked and no, we, caught up. Yeah, we did. We just hung out. We didn't because I, I always like to tell him this. You know, because he's like when I come down there, he doesn't like mm-hmm. me spending any money right. at all. Right. Um. I said to, to me, we, we don't, it's not about spending money. We don't have to be going here and doing that, you know, because we live in t- different states. So mm-hmm. it's like we don't want to spend time traveling because mm-hmm. then we don't get to spend time together. Right. But 
I'm like, you know, we're one of those type of women like we got to be doing this. Yeah. We got to be You got to take me here. over here. You got to get my no, hair done. No, we mm. ain't got to be doing none of that. As long as we're spending time together on cool. We ain't even got to go to Magic Mountain. See, that is why I know my Afro Thunder. I got the right one. <laughs> I got the right one. You know? I said, look, she, I'll be ready. she put her hair in braids, whatever. She puts it out, whatever. Hey, it's all good, girl. Look, all that loving. Ooh, wee. Can't I mean, I, you know, I told Can't him I, I'll cook, which I did. I made him a steak. Okay. okay. And he was like, this is the best steak I've ever eaten. Oh, my God. Where did you learn to cook? Right, and I was right. like, We got the right one, brother in law We got the right one. We got the right one. Just got to treat him right. Treat him right. So, I just, so and we had a good time. We had a good time. Yeah. It was great, great, great. We'll be back in so, October. October. All right. And then are you going to plan on going down there anytime soon? Um, sometime before February, February. because I got a free, well, $100 well, gift certificate from right. Delta. And you got to use it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then, you know, you have some other things coming up, mm-hmm. uh, coming up as well. Um, real quick, uh, you uh, got your notary back. So I did. So um, is it is, is it a specific notary or is it can, can we do anything? I can. It's, it's a um, regular notary. Regular notary needs. So if mm-hmm. it, so, if I needed something just notarized, I can yeah. just call you up and say, "Hey, D, I need this done." Yeah. What, what what's your? Well, I don't know if there's a charge rate. Or yeah. Whatever. Well, there's a flat fifteen dollar rate charge mm-hmm. um, for per signature. Mm-hmm. That's uh, mandated by the yeah, state, state of California. Right. But um, to travel, then I can charge what I want. Right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. So you can take care of that. I mean, you guys know D knows a little bit about law. She has some, you know, master's just degree. A just a tiny bit. bit yeah, a tiny bit. She knows what she's doing. So if you guys need to need a notary, uh, she's available in, in the local area, you know. But if you wanted to fly to D.C., yeah, she'll fly. Yeah, come on with it. I'll I, I travel now. Yeah, she'll, she'll fly out there. <laughs> well, now. I can't really because I can't, I can't notarize out right, there, but okay, you but, can come to me. Yeah, that's right. And, and, and <laughs> knock that out. But, hey, uh, again, I want to uh, hip you guys to Baskets by Leanne. And on, on her saying, she does birthdays, anniversaries, home warmings, baby showers, weddings, appreciation, get wells, or any reason. If we don't, Side piece back. Side piece. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, side piece back. Like she says it right here, if we don't have what you need, you can create a customized basket for you. And make a long story short, come to find out that this girl went to the high school on Okinawa. Really? The Air Force High School. It's but, a small world but, after um, all. Yeah, but she, she graduated in 95. I graduated in 88. Okay. So we're a little bit different, but small world that she's small a world, uh, yeah. alumni that uh, did that. And she's working over in the base. And, you know, she, like you, she can go anywhere to fulfill the needs of uh, her business. And it is a black owned business. Did you see, uh, just a sidebar, did you see any romantic connections there? No, I did not. No, okay. Not at all. You know, I'd just be having to ask because, you know, I'm trying, yeah, to, get not, you, I'm trying to get you booed up. Um, I am booed up with your sister. No, I, God. Yeah, you know, I'm oh, side side to do a few of get mine, look, baby. You can have, look, we need that guy to keep paying them bills. Because <laughs> <laughs> if he's doing it, I don't have to. So. <laughs> but no, um, very, very, very nice uh, 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 young lady. Um, she's, what, 42 or something like that? Right she's, up your alley. Hmm. Nah. Uh, I'm, I'm, we're gonna I'm, talk I'm, afterwards. I'm getting me a white girl. Uh, no, the hell you wait. <laughs> no, you wait. So. I'll put some acetone in your face. Right, right. <laughs> you're, you're gonna be fighting it out. <laughs> but, um, no, I mean, look, like, women like you and your sister, that, that's hard to find. It's not really hard it, to no, find. No, I'm talking about just thick and just that got it, that. It ain't hard to find. You got a booty for days. <laughs> just, I mean, you know, that's hard. Well, you know, people buying those now. I know, that's what I'm saying. Remember, did you see that video my sister put up? <laughs> yes. Of her friend? Her friend, yes. That looked like a, a moose walking that's in That's a pay for a booty. Lord have mercy. But she got a good booty, though. It's a good booty, it's but good booty. but she must be wiping for days. She went to uh, Dr. Miami. And Wiping they, for days. Yeah, I'm on the talking about uh, they be walking down the street, cars be honking. Mm-hmm. She mm-hmm. said people was calling her from mm-hmm. all over the place. Who was that? Who was yeah. that talking about calling me from Virginia? Yeah. Who was that? You on, on her line? Right yeah. <laughs> you know, and, and, and here's another thing. Um, your daughter has all the traits that grandma gave her, and some of your nieces have them. Mm-hmm. And... It just amazes me that these women are still single. Oh, you know, at least well, your daughter is. I, I'm glad she's still single mm-hmm. because, you know, she's finishing her mm-hmm. education, which will be done in December, and yes. then she can go live her life. Like, I tell her, don't, just a man is going to be there. Yes, they're always going to be there. Life. Don't get saddled down. With All this D is out here. It's yeah. out here. I mean, if you want to look at it, mm-hmm. but uh, just space an opportunity. Yeah, Go absolutely. do what you want before you get saddled down in a relationship. Yeah, and the thing is, what I, what I like about the, I definitely don't like her attitude, but... <laughs> That chocolate skin, ah, oh, beautiful, flawless, very, beautiful. very, 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 very flawless. So for these young guys that are out there, she is a uh, she's single, but I don't know if she got time right now. But she ain't got time. Okay, she ain't we got keep time. Keep her busy. We try but, to, but yeah, but uh, she has all the traits of grandmama. So uh, 
And, it, and if you've seen Grandmama, that's a dime piece. A brick house. OG brick, brick house. house. Yes. We don't make them like that no more. <laughs> so, hey, in the second hour, we're going to talk about local politics here in Moreno Valley. Uh-oh. You guys get ready. You guys have heard about Leroy, Al Bundy, Holt. And we're going to talk about some of the things that he has done right and wrong. And my question to D before we go to break is... If you're a black person and you're doing a fundraiser and you have no black support, what does that tell you? That you're bought and paid for. You're bought and paid for. We're going to talk about that in a second hour. You guys stand by.